2022 was an exciting time for me. I packed my bags for my first big adventure since the COVID-19 pandemic. It felt like life was truly back on track. I hopped on a 4-hour plane ride from Manila to Bangkok, and then a 14-hour train ride north to Chiang Mai. I was on the road for almost two days straight, living off caffeine and willpower. It was one long journey, but when I got to my destination, I found myself in one of the world's most beautiful places. Hey folks, it's Kim from Raven Kim Woodwinds and I hope you're having a great day. Today I want to share with you the fantastic experiences I've had on my recent trips to Thailand. Although the trips were primarily for a conference where I presented my research on archaeomusicology and more, I had some fantastic experiences along the way meeting locals and going on adventures to places that I've never been before. One of the highlights, of course, was getting to meet the man behind the world-famous Dinda Ocarinas. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the amazing experience of hanging out with my good friend and renowned ocarina maker, Sarawut Bugbuntu. I had a grand first impression of Chiang Mai as I arrived at the time of the Yipeng Lan Moon Festival, a full moon festival meant as a time to make merry. It was also the Loi Gradong Festival, paying respect to the goddess of water and the Buddha. I was set to meet Sarawut at the Dafe Walking Street weekend market. With all the festivities going on, it made for one memorable walk to his store. Your, your video um, very beautiful. Thank I like, you. Yes, I like. <laughs> hey folks, it's Kim here from Raven Kim Woodwinds. I'm finally here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I get to meet the great Sarah Wood of Dinda Ocarinas. World famous stuff. Dinda Ocarinas makes instruments that are known all over the world. Handmade here in Sarah Wood's hometown of Chiang Mai. I think one of the coolest things about these instruments is how the clay is locally sourced here in Thailand. Extended range. <laughs> Beyond Ocarina, Sarawut also makes other instruments like Kluwi and Native American flutes. Unfortunately, the Kluwi are made to order from Dinda Ocarina, but at least I get the chance to try them out here at the Chiang Mai market. Uh, like Dinda Ocarina's Ocarinas, the Kluwi are just as nice. I'm not a great player, but you guys should hear this. Amazing instruments. Here are some of the amazing instruments that I got to take home from Dinda Ocarinas 
as well as some of the others that I got from that same trip to Thailand. First off are the ocarinas. They all have an amazingly sweet voice and impeccable balance between the high notes and the low notes. First is an 11-hole bass C, a 12-hole soprano G, a 12-hole alto C, and a 10-hole soprano A. I also acquired a small collection of Klui, a traditional flute of Thailand. Although Dean the Ocarina usually makes these to order, I was lucky enough to get one ready-made out of plastic. Here are others that I acquired made of teak, bamboo, and modern ones also made out of resin. I had also acquired the wat. It's a kind of pan flute with the tubes arranged in a circular fashion. I was ecstatic to also come across some jaw harps on that same trip. I got a new Dan Moy from the Hmong people. Although the Hmong are mostly known to populate Vietnam, they can also be found in the northern regions of Thailand. I acquired the Thai bamboo jaw harp. Depending on where you are, they're either known as a Chong Nong or a Huen. One of the biggest surprises for me is learning that there are actually communities of Nepalese people in Thailand. That was where I acquired these Marchanga. I got a couple of them in brass, and this very unique one made out of copper. Of course, I would like to extend the biggest thank you to Mr. Sarawut Bugguntud of Dinda Ocarinas. Thank you for accommodating me, and thank you for the wonderful instruments that I get to take home. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel to hear these instruments in action. And if you would like to acquire a Dinda Ocarina for yourself, you can visit Sarawut's website at dindaocarina.com.